So what you're doing is you're teaching kids, though, in your new book, which is interesting because you know who else does that trick? Tony the Tiger. Yeah. yeah. You you remember, some listeners may not know Tony the Tiger, but when I was growing up watching cartoons on Saturday morning, um, Tony the Tiger would come on and tell you, what was he he promoting anyway? Tricks or something? Tricks or Oh, no, no, no. Um, uh, Frosted Flakes. Frosted Flakes. Thank you. I, yeah. you could, I, I, I was more of like a um, Fruity Pebbles kid myself. Uh, but, you know, there's all these, these things and they know if they can get kids addicted when they're young. So my kids didn't watch TV. Um, they, they just weren't allowed to. They could do audiobooks, which don't have ads. And then I would also tell them, like, oh, that's not food. Like, that's a McDonald's. You just go there to pee, right? Yeah, <laughs> that's and, awesome. That's not food. Yeah, and I they love have it. chemicals in their food. But then yeah. something happened. My daughter was probably six or seven. Um, our nanny takes the kids to a McDonald's drive through not to get the food. She you knows not to feed them fast food, but she wanted to get a latte, which is weird because there was free coffee, you know, like bulletproof coffee. It was at my house. <laughs> time, was danger coffee, my new coffee brand. But it was funny. So my daughter's like, oh my God, you can talk to this box and then like, and you can get food. And so the, our nanny orders the food. And then my daughter rolls her window and goes, one poopy chemical latte, please. Right. And, and then it's like, ha, ha, I got away with it. But our, our nanny was like pretty pissed off, like, you know, feeling judged a little bit. Because yeah. My daughter's like, that's not food. So this is my question for you. Your kids, when they look at highly processed, you know, yoga mat (laughs) bread and all this other nonsense that's out there, how do you teach them to be kind and accepting of people who don't know as much as they know? Yeah, that is the name of the game right now. And it's, it's happening right now with my daughter who's six, you know, she, an ice cream truck visits school and Uh, they sent out a note to parents ahead of time and they said, Hey, we're going to have ice cream day this day. And I immediately in like two nanoseconds, I was like writing back and I was like, I'll provide the ice cream for that day. Right. (laughs) But the the headmaster was like, no, we got it covered. And I'm like, Oh, should I push this? Or should I just let kids be kids? Like, I, you know, I just kind of let it go. And it was the end of the school year and the ice cream truck comes and, uh, Harley gets home from school and she says to me, she goes, mom, I want to let you know I picked the best option. I said, oh, really? What'd you, what'd you pick? She said, I picked an ice cream sandwich because all the other things were brightly colored. Mm-hmm. And I said, oh, that's great. Well, did you enjoy it? She goes, mom, it was double the size of the ones we get at home because like the little small ones are like organic, right? And then the, they have the big tall ones. And I go, oh, wow, it was double the size. She's like, yes, it was so good. And I just left that conversation with like, the best feeling in the world that she at six years Mm -hmm. old thought about her decision, chose something not brightly colored because of the fact that she knew it was conventional and it wasn't like, you know, it was a a ice cream truck and she made that decision on her own. But what did I do after she told me that I went to the internet and I typed in good humor, ice cream sandwich, what Mm -hmm. would be in a typical ice cream sandwich? What do you think's in there? Well, you've got to have skim milk full of glyphosate and no good fat. <laughs> you've got to have canola oil, high fructose corn syrup. Um, all of it, of right? Weird thickener gum, tons of... Oh, yeah, gluten. carrageenan. Yeah, yep. yep. all of it, boring. right? And that's all the bad stuff. But yep. then on top of it, they're putting dye to make it white vanilla ice cream. They're putting dye in to make the chocolate wafer, mm-hmm. caramel color level four. So like, even though she thought she was making a better choice, she still was doomed, right? And of course, I didn't have the heart to tell her because I want her to think critically and think about these things um, on her own. And I don't want to, you know, persuade her too much. I do want to educate her. But it was awesome because she made that decision. She didn't say anything else about anyone else's and she was kind about it, right? But there are going to be those situations where she asks me and she has already where she asked me why does this mom not know about this, right? Why does this mom allow this and you don't? And why don't you buy this, right? And that's the point in time where I tell her about values. Like this is a value of our family. We highly value this because I've been super sick in my life and I don't want you to experience that. And so this is a value in my life. That person probably hasn't gone through that lesson yet. And they maybe they will, maybe they won't. 
but you're lucky in that I'm your mom and you get all this information. And so you get to feel the best, you know? You're listening to The Human Upgrade with Dave Asprey. 